Hello, it's Harry Deansway here, the host of Rap Chat, everyone's favourite open mic comedy podcast. We're here with our usual selection of rats and pigs uh, who've just watched what was, quite frankly, one of the most memorable, aka horrific nights of entertainment that Rats has ever put on. Uh, the first half was a disgrace. Uh, but anyway, let's meet everyone. As, as I said, if no one listens, your, your name and a little bit about yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Jacob Hennigan. Um, I come from Sydney. I have been in London a few months doing comedy stuff. Good stuff. Hello, my name's John Sharp. I've got peanuts stuck to my teeth. And, and, and that's it, really. <laughs> Good stuff. Hello, I'm Alexander Richmond. I'm a comedian and writer, also from Sydney, Australia. I live with that guy over there. Oh, you've got your house mate. Oh. Mm. Hi, um, I'm Jen Sally, I'm a bassist and singer. I just met Noemi, um, who brought me here for the first time. <laughs> and I'm Noemi, or Noemi, and I'm a wannabe musician. So More than wannabe. <laughs> wow, so we've got two genuinely talented people on the podcast, which is a first. Uh, no offence, guys. So, no. God, you watched the show. Well, Alex, actually, Alexander was talented. Yeah. Sorry, guys. John, you, you're, you're unique. Uh, you've definitely got something. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a potential, I would say. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Jacob, right? Yeah. Yeah. You live with Alexander. I do. Uh, how, many, how many rats live in that flat? Uh, just the two of us. Two rats. A couple of mice. Uh, yeah. And one, one person. We found the house on, at an open mic. Yeah. And uh, this guy, Lucien, was like, oh, I've got two spare rooms. And we moved in with him, and then he immediately quit comedy. Good, good stuff. Well, get like seven years. Shame. Yeah, yeah. Did he do this gig or something? Uh, no. Uh, he did the two north down comp and didn't get oh. through and quit. And quit. So, what sort of stuff do you two raps talk about in the flat? Like, do you, do you, do you like jizz over comedy and stuff, or are you? Yeah, mostly that. Yeah, yeah, mostly comedy, comedy film. Dissect That's each it. other's acts and stuff. Yeah. Sounds. I, cool. I told them the peekaboo bit wouldn't work. Yeah. So that was the best bit. It was. Yeah. Don't listen to him. Yeah, I know. John, uh, stalwart, uh, sorry. Yeah, no, like, don't um, use that term, it's so derogatory. It's not derogatory. It is to me, yeah. stalwart. It means like a regular a fixture, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Underused Yeah, I know, but I think it sums John up, they hate it. John, maverick, original thinker, brain injury, tell us more. Uh, hit by a bus. Yes. Oh. And, um, have you, and did it change the way you think about comedy, being hit by a bus? Uh, uh, um, well, um, I'm two different people. I'm the person I was before I was hit by the bus. And then there's the person I was after. And the only thing that hasn't changed is my sense of humour. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Alexander, uh, you've done rats before. Yeah, and uh, you didn't win, but this time you won. What do you think changed? Uh, I did a different character. Oh, well, you weren't yourself. Uh, never myself on stage. I apologise uh, for no. the, the secrecy, for the, the smoke and mirrors. <laughs> but is that because you don't like the person you are? You're ashamed of, or you don't? You're not confident in that person? I just don't think that person's particularly funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the people I play, they're they're quite funny. People. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely feeling that from the interview so far. Yeah. I'm just this is a regular person that you're speaking to now. You're like Andy Kaufman. Ooh, that's wow, nice. That oh, I want to take that. Kaufman. Yeah. Yeah. But not imitating him, just his own kind of adopting a character. Yeah, so like sort of a performance art. Basically, yeah. Yeah, Which is... more so than. Yeah, not just comedy, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, and that's what we want at Rats, you know? That's why you won, mm. and that's what we want. We want to see, like, people are pushing the boundaries, doing something a bit different, because for me, jokes are boring. Now, you two mm. uh, pigs were the audience tonight. It's an affection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I don't want the sound from. <laughs> yes, no, Russell's thankfully gone home. Um, what, what did you like about the night? Uh. I don't know. I I did like it. I just it's too bad everyone gave up. Like three people. Oh, did. I don't know why it was like a waterfall of just things. Happening. Three acts gave up tonight. That's true. Yeah. Why do you, Why do you think they did it? Like I don't know. Well, the first one was just I don't know. It clearly wasn't vibing, and the other two probably followed her. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. It was. It spread. But it's There's... weird. It's like it's a weird thing because we just came from another open mic in music. Yeah. You can't really just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> That's not really a thing you can do. 
But it's easier in music, it feels. You have the light in your face, you can't see the audience, and you're not supposed to interact with them as much. Yeah. And? Um, it's easier in music. I, I, I know you said not to pity them. Sorry, this is the Yeah, yeah. Go on. But, um, <laughs> That's better, yeah. But, um, you said not to pity them, but uh, I always thought comedy was the most uh, admirable kind of uh -huh. artistic pursuit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is very that that wild. That is, that's that's, that's going to make you feel really good about it yourself. Is really no, I'm, I'm on your side on this. Uh, <laughs> I think anytime someone says that's really brave or that takes a lot of guts, I'm like, I don't. Right. I don't yeah. understand that perspective at all. It's because, yeah, it's, it, it just takes a lot of like thinking you're funny despite the evidence. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably what you're. It's arrogant. It's a waste yeah, of everyone's time. Yeah, but it's what you're most far away from, isn't it? Because like for us, music is like, oh, it's just playing music. Whilst for other people, that's probably like, what the fuck? You it's don't... really interesting. It's probably just because what you can't do well, yeah, is impressive. Yeah. But with comedy, it's not like a skill that you can. It is. It is obviously, but it doesn't look as much like a skill that you can hold, like fretting and you know. So it's really interesting. Two things. First of all, like difference between music and comedy from a performance perspective, I think is you've got a barrier in front of you, a protection, yeah, uh, your guitar, protection. you know, like so you're completely protected by that. Also, what I find really interesting about musicians is their stage talk. Because it's often always really bad, you know, when they talk in between <laughs> so the songs. Yeah, yeah, and so, what? Any any advice on good stage talk for uh, like musicians? Did you, what would you say? Well, why don't we ask John? Got any advice for good stage <laughs> talk for acts, uh, musicians in between their songs? What would you uh, give them advice on what to say? Uh, say as little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Make it count. I disagree. Because I, I once saw a North Monkey show and he didn't say anything to the crowd and you're like, well, fuck yeah, yeah. that's not good either. Yeah. Mm. So who's the most um, charismatic musician for talking to the audience, would you say? Who's your favourite? <laughs> oh, fuck it. Her, her band, she plays it's not them. mine. There's, yeah. a, there's a band I play in where the singer is very... Um, he's basically a comedian, I, yeah. I see him that way. I don't, sometimes I'm not sure if he sees him that way, but I, I think... Get him on the rats. He's brilliant. So yeah. tell us, are you allowed to say the name of your band? Spectre. Spectre? <laughs> it's okay. not my band, it's not, I just played in it. But anyway, it's Mac. Um, oh, I can't think of many good... You know what could be fun? You know how music is letters? You know how it's like, you know, A, B, C and everything? It'd be fun if the, the things you say in between the songs is like those songs but set out. <laughs> Yeah, right. like, like the chords. Yeah. 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 yeah, no one will get it now. I, feel like I, would, I get it. <laughs> I, would, I would love it. Well, you'll be at the next Spectre game, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like James Bond. There's a James Bond film. Do all your bands name after James Bond films? <laughs> oh, no, no, only that one. Well, oh. it was named after It wasn't named after No, it was before. I think it was before. So what's it could not be before. Sorry. It's not, but you're in the band. Yeah, you're an yeah. important part of the band. Yeah. So, um, what what do you uh, what do you play? Our bass guitar. Oh, wonderful. John, uh, I take it you're uh, you're a man of culture, right? You go to art galleries, you go to yeah. gigs, you're into yeah. reading art. I like everything but the girl. Yeah. Tracy Thorn. That's so that's the sort of band you like, yeah. Yep. Which is sort of like a dance indie hybrid. Originally, she wasn't that, or well, they weren't that. Yeah. No. Um, and I saw them when they played uh, with uh, Paul Weller. Paul Weller. The most, uh, I've got to say, sorry girls, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're a fan of Jen, no, but one of the most boring gigs I've ever I, been to yeah. is Paul Weller. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I've seen him live. It's Awful. Boring, yeah. Atrocious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you like him? No, I haven't seen him, but yeah. I like him. Uh, you like his music? Yeah. You should see the jam. The jam. No. The, uh, no, yeah, no. <laughs> no. no. I've seen, it is, it is very boring. Yes. Oh, this is really obvious, but the Beatles have the best um, talk. Yeah, oh, yeah. John mm -hmm. Lennon was one of the great, great. Um... John Lennon said, "Rattle uh, the people at the front, uh, the people at the back, clap your yeah. hands. The people at the Her front, rattle your jewelry." Rattle your jewelry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Um, so we'll finish up with um, our favourite bands, I guess. So, so who's your favourite band? Uh, Mangoes. The Mountain Goats, yeah. they're like a sort of bluegrass American man. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's like mostly just like whiny folk music. Okay. He's American. Yeah. yeah. I thought they did like um. I wouldn't say bluegrass, bluegrass covers. Do they do they do a cover of Gin and Juice or something? Or am I thinking of something no, else? No, no. Okay. <laughs> John. You're thinking of Ben Folds maybe doing a cover of Gin and Juice. Uh, I, I I particularly like Catherine Tickell's Northumbrian Pipes. She, she plays them under her <laughs> arm in the bellows. Yeah, they're bellows. Yeah. 
very yeah I'm very big at that on that yeah. good stuff I like the talking heads oh art oh, rock right. yeah. Yeah. yeah of course I do not yeah. Yeah. Not not we know. he's not a band okay. who's that uh, you're very Yankovic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that would be my favourite solo artist. Uh, okay. But yeah, for Well, we're splitting hairs here. Have you seen the new film? Yeah, I loved it. Very Good. funny. I haven't seen it yet. Recommend? Did um, you say hundreds listen to this this podcast? Yeah, yeah. Hundreds. Hundreds. At least. Yeah. Wow. At least. So Weird Al's going to get a big <laughs> confidence. <laughs> yeah. That movie's going to get some big confidence. It's going to be big for Radcliffe. Uh, uh, because you two are musicians, why don't we switch to comedians for you guys? Oh. So, oh, pressure. Yeah, you thought yeah, you were yeah. going to say your favourite bands, but uh, we want to hear who your favourite oh, comedians are. Well. All right, you can have uh, a favourite band. <laughs> I, I just really like Louis C.K. Yeah, you like Louis C.K. too, Louis C.K. fans? No, it's quite. Look, cares? Oh my God, he's not. He doesn't deserve to be there. Yes, I mean, luckily you're wearing a pig mask, so you can see your face. But um, no, I, I, I've got to say, I, I agree with you. There's some people who deserve to be cancelled, and some people who, who are just perverts, you know. And um, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's just part of. Yeah, yeah. clearly he is. He is a pervert, and that's you know, you know, he's a genius in his comedy, and he's a pervert in his love life, and you know, that's it. So my favourite band is um, I have I probably like Lou Reed or something. Oh, you know? oh, yeah, good. great that's artist. Band, yeah. Velvet Underground. Yeah. Velvet Underground, but yeah. I like well, all right, band. I, uh, Jesus, I put myself on the spot here. Um, I like. No, I think I like solo artists. I really right? like Bill Callahan as he supported his gig. Thank you, John. Yeah, I did open for Bill Callahan, um, who's aka Smog. Um, I did uh, six sold out nights at the uh, Hoxton Hall opening film, and it went really well. Do not read the comments on the internet about it. <laughs> it generally went well, but the comments were horrible. But um, yeah, I, I, let's just say I like the band. Yeah, they're a good band. Good band. Good. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, lovely to see you all. And uh, do we get paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, great. All right. Well, I'll buy you a drink upstairs. Uh, uh, really? Yeah. Fun. Why not? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, fun. <laughs> this is a, a paid gig. Oh, yeah.